Good afternoon to fellow Atomy members, to the leaders seated in front, to Wendy Lee, the country manager. Good afternoon to everyone. This is James Chung, Chevron Rosemaster. It's a privilege for me to stand before you, to share with you, and I hope to bring you value this afternoon. <laughs> the last time I spoke, I told the audience that I couldn't sleep. This time, I slept well. However, I woke up in the early hours of the morning and I started thinking about today. I started thinking about the value that I must bring to you as I share information that a lot of us thought you already know. How many of you understood what him or him is all about? You don't dare to raise your hands now. <laughs> But when you speak to your customers and your consumers and your downlines and your friends, your contacts, you speak as if him, you understood him or him. And then suddenly someone tells you, him or him very hitty. And then you, are, you, you, you have no answer. Or if I take him or him, I will have headache. La. And then straight away, you have no answer. But I hope today, I, have, I can give you the answer. I can tell you for a fact that none of these things are due to him or him. And I will show you by evidence what do I mean. So let's talk a little bit about him or him. And I want to go straight into the subject matter of him or him because it is one of the most powerful products on the face of this earth as far as I have understood the research and the findings and the implications to our physical health. It is. It is a herbal product, yes. However, it is meant to share with you a lifestyle brand. Now, lifestyle, for lack of a better word, lifestyle, but actually it is a way of life. It is the atomy way of having a healthy life. Atomy, not atomy. I really <laughs> have issues with that. Why? If you look at the logo, if you read English, what does the word tell you? Read, look at the logo, the English word, what does it tell you? You don't say atom. You say atom, yes? So it's atom me, which is atom me. So don't change it to an atomy because it is not a Tom, Dick or Harry. All right, it is atomy, very atom, very small. And you must understand this because this is what atomy is all about. So that you have a life that is meaningful. What does that mean? The lifestyle brand of tomorrow. So most of us haven't realized that yet, but in a moment's time and day after, as you continue on, you will begin to appreciate what atomy is all about and why this brand, because atomy, does not survive on the products. Atomy is not going to do great for you because of the products or because of the compensation system or because of the PV. None of these things, but it is a holistic collection of the various important factors that affect our lives, including money, including the way of life. And right now, I'm just talking about the food that we take, including the supplements that we take. And I'd like you to experience that right now. How many of you here have not taken him or him? Honestly, haven't taken. I don't blame you because probably you don't understand. You have your reservation. But after today, I'm sure your confidence will go up. Not because I want to sell you him or him, but because I want to sell you the lifestyle, the way it should be that includes him or him, which will definitely help you. Let me just go straight into him or him. Basically, it is a product that helps with your immune system. However, how in the world does him or him help you in your immune system? Just because you take it and your immune system will be all ready and all up and great? Perhaps so for about 40 to 60% of people, but definitely there is a 30-40% of people who do not think so. Agree? How many of you have experienced taking him or him and they given you the so-called side effects? Anybody? At least initially, yes. Alright? Only one of you there to own up. The rest? Humble 
liars. <laughs> okay. So the point I'm trying to make is that for almost as high as three or four people, when they start off Himohim him without starting off anything else, they will experience, so to speak, the healing effects or some say the negative effects and some say the toxic effects or the side effects. But there is no side effects. I can promise you there is no side effects with plant-based product except that you are not ready for it. So if you are not ready, does that mean that you will never be ready? No, it simply means that you need to take care of your body in another way as you introduce Himohim into your body. And you can certainly begin with one pack and before you move on to the two packs. And as you do your one pack a day and you have experienced so-called side effects or healing crisis or whatever, you should assist it rather than stop it. Assist it so long as it is not life-threatening. But of course, I have not come across anybody taking him or him and straight away cannot breathe. Alright, I haven't seen anybody who have taken him or him the first round and, you know, the head turns wide and the headache was so bad, he bangs his head against the wall or something like that. Nothing of that sort. Now, explain a little bit about him or him. It is about waking up, waking up your immunocytes. Immunocytes is a class of defense cells. But that is the, the straightforward way of understanding him or him. But behind that, a whole host of factors begin to take place. A whole host of chemical reactions within your body begin to take place the moment Hemohim enters because Hemohim enters your bloodstream, enters your, your mouth, digested in part by your saliva, straight away go into your guts and the first place really is your gut. So the question really is, do you have guts for Hemohim? It is like that. So let's examine this a little further. Look at the three items that is definitely inside him or him. I even hear of people explaining him or him and after they've gone to the factory and they saw it's a whole bag of all the, the tong kwai and the chuan xiong and the, and the pai shao and all went into the whole bag and go into the 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 urns and they begin to boil and begin to burn and you think you have everything of the tong kwai, tang kwai. I want you to know it is not. That is only the first round. If you read the scientific papers and it's very open information, from the result of that boiling, the final product, they have to separate them. They literally use high technology to separate them to make sure you have least reaction and effect and it isolates out those important ingredients that is what we see right here now the chlorogenic acid the nodocanin uh, and the peonifluorin and these are the three ingredients in your himohim that really matters not the tong kwai not the pai sao or the chuan xiong but these are combination as a result when the three herbs are put together and what comes out to you that liquid is further separated to identify these three key products for each one of us and what do they do for you so let's go into the detail now chlorogenic acids even in some of your green coffee in some types of coffee beans you also have chlorogenic acids, all right? So if you take Himohim and you have headache, all right, you think that, oh, it's a Himohim, but actually it could have been the coffee because it is exactly the same ingredient inside some of this. However, I want, you to, highlight, I want to highlight that it has to do with the bowel and the liver function. What in the world does bowel and liver function have to do with immunity? It has everything to do with immunity because immunity, because immunity, 80% of your immunity begins in your gut. So don't talk about immunity, about cancer, and about this and about that. It begins in the gut. The gut itself is your second brain, meaning it is smarter than your brain up there. Yeah, especially nowadays when you only look at YouTube, watch TV, Korean drama, and so on. Even if you are watching VOD, channel at the me. Alright, 
you, it's only the brain that is receiving information, but I want you to know that God also receives information and is smarter than the brain. The God with all them millions of microorganisms begin to work together to send information to your brain so that you begin to respond differently. At the gut level, what's going to happen is when you take him or him, according to the scientific research, it repairs your gut. It literally changed the terrain of your gut. Give you an example. At home, if you've ever been on carpet area or in the office, you have certain types of carpet that are so well trodden on, so many people stand on it, so many people stump on it, that it's almost flat. But yet, there is no carpet that does not have carpet fibre, right? Maybe shortened fibre in that sense. But definitely, they have a fibre. If you dig your carpet, you will find eventually there are fibres that comes up. But yet, not when it is all stormed up. And so, exactly in our gut, this is the situation at certain parts of our intestines where it is already coated with all the foods that we eat, the gluten, the sugar, the milky stuff, the colorings, and so on. It is so comp impacted and compacted that the villi, which is basically the, similar to the fiber nature of the carpet, is totally embedded, totally sunken, totally all glued together, so to speak. And because of that, your bacteria cannot do its job. Because of that, a lot of us have leaky gut condition. So when you have a heaty syndrome after taking Himohim, or when you have a headache, or when you have constipation, or when you have outbreaks of uh, pimple or eczema, or whatever it may be, it is not Himohim. It is basically Himohim trying to deal with your gut to improve because Himohim is able to repair the villi in your gut as proven in the studies on uh, mice. In the clinical study on mice, they found that the gut villi basically got rebuilt over the years when it has been damaged. It has been damaged over the years, but with him or him over time, it will begin to build and form new terrain so that new bacteria can come on. In other words, him or him alone cannot give you immunity. So a lot of us take Himohim and think that you will have immun immunity. Just do anything under the sun. Fix yourself with Himohim and you will be superpower. Remember, it's not going to be the case unless you wear your underwear on the outside. Then you can be superman. All right? But otherwise, if it's him or him, you are not going to be superman. But him or him is very critical to complete the puzzle for total health and for high immunity. All right? So this is a very critical factor because in a moment's time, I'm going to talk about the other player that will improve immunity. So chlorogenic acids deal with your bowel. Why deal with the bowel? The main problem about the lack of immunity has to do with fat's metabolism. And the only way the body deals with fat metabolism, metabolism is your bowel. Your bowel determines what goes into your body, in what form they go into the body, or it is being excreted from your body to keep you safe and less fat. All right? So the bowel works with the liver. That's why it is for bowel and liver function. Why liver? Because the moment you eat anything, including the supplements that you take, your gut is the first round of filtering off food that is well digested and not well digested. If you eat in a hurry, your food are not well digested. If you just slurp in your very smooth, silky, oily noodle, and all noodle soup, they always add the oil in there, if you, if you haven't noticed, so that you can just slurp it in. Without, you, you don't need teeth, for that matter. But actually we do, because your teeth structure is meant to break down your food. But once it goes in, it becomes the slimy, sticky substance because they are flour-based. Right? So in your gut, it begins to suffer the effect. And when it enter from your gut into your body, your body first round to defend it. And all the defense and 80% of your immunity begins in the gut. 
So don't talk about immunity in your cancer situation, in your, in your organ situation, in your foot situation, your skin situation. The first round of battle begins in the gut. And him or him therefore has that ability to heal the gut. Some of us think that it's just probiotics. Probiotics is the organism that lives in the gut. And we need to replenish that. But if your gut terrain, which is the house, does not allow the organism to live in the gut, it is pointless. Your probiotic doesn't work. No wonder some people tell us they take probiotics and it doesn't mean anything. It's because of the gut. The houses are not there. The houses are not there because chances are they haven't been taking Himohim regularly. They think that Himohim will give them energy. And because they are so energetic, maybe they don't need Himohim. But that is not the case. All right? So Himohim is here to repair the gut, the most important thing that you must take away from today. And if you haven't been taking Himohim or have no confidence in Himohim, just know for a fact you have no guts. <laughs> Literally, because your system tells your body, yuck, this taste is horrible. When you have an issue with taste, it is not automated. You were not born with a brain that says this tastes good and that tastes bad. It is a learned behavior over the years as you grew up because you are picky with food, because of circumstances, because of stress, because of many factors. And because of that, your terrain, your gut, takes a different form. Some of them are destroyed, bacteria come in, become unevenly distributed, and then you begin to have all right, issues with digestion and therefore, over time, issue with your taste buds, your preference for food. All of you have cravings for food. You will crave for, in Singapore, your chili crab. You will crave for, for your bakute. Alright? And the Chinese maybe crave for your tzu tea. I don't know. What else do you crave for? But very few of us would crave for fruits and vegetables. How many of you crave for fruits and vegetables? Ah, only a very few people. But fruits and vegetables, also not enough. Okay? Because it is a lifestyle thing, which I want to tell you in a moment's time. So, the NK cell vitality, you think you take him or him and your NK cells will start to increase by two times, four times, ten times. It's not going to work like that because you must first go through the gut. And after it's digested, and it does get digested because it's already, based on the scientific uh, research, able to be easily absorbed into your, into your gut. However, the next thing, it goes to all foods that enter your blood system and is determined by your immune system to make sure they are safe. The next stop, all will go to the liver. And then we, know we have liver issues. And a lot of us have liver issues and there's no sign, no symptoms. So because there's no sign, no, no symptoms, a lot of us think we're okay. I see the doctor. I go and see the doctor. I took my blood profile. I took my blood test. Everything was a-okay. I am great. Excuse me, you are not great. Because the blood profile that you have is at the point in time that you got your blood tested. The next moment you are upset with a nurse who pricked your skin or you're upset with a doctor who you have to wait so long, I tell you your blood profile has already changed. That is the fact. But unfortunately, you can't be doing blood profile every second of your life. You can't. There are machines that can do that, not necessarily the blood profile, but your circulation and your blood pressure and so on and so forth. But none of us walk around with a machine that does the reading for us all the time. Next time with AI, it probably will. It can be found in the spectacles that you wear, reading your, bio, your personal bio on an ongoing basis. It is possible. That is how advanced science is now. NK cell vitality. First, when it gets absorbed in the gut, then at the gut level, the moment it enters into the one-line, one-cell thick defense wall, it enters into your bloodstream. That's where your NK cells begin to increase in vitality. Then we talk about the immunocyte vitality, which includes all the rest of your T cells, B cells, all right, your memory cells, which nobody talks about. All these things begin to increase in the way they do the job. So just a simple ingredient called chlorogenic acids 
deal with your bowel, deal with your liver, and fit into the entire process of improving your gut response to the food that you take. The next one, not a cannon. What does it do? Anti-inflammation response. Anti-inflammatory, the first area of inflammation is always in the gut. The moment food enters, and then you wash it down with coffee, and then you wash it down with ice cream, typically what we eat, right? Your gut will go through inflammation. It does. By the way, gut means your stomach, your small intestine, and your large intestine. So first round, you may have stomach upset, and then you fix yourself with Finezyme, which is good. The company realized that already. That's why they gave you Finezyme. And then after that, you may have a fat issue, metab uh, fat metabolism issue. You may have other issues like your sugar, you're feeling tired. You know, that is the small intestine inflammation. And after that, it goes into your gut. In other words, into your colon. In other words, two days later, three days later, you may constipate, you may have diarrhea the next hour or so. All that happens because of the inflammation. So, bottom line, Adamy is trying to teach us how to do well holistically and not just survive on supplement. So that's why we are a different company. I'm not here to sell you the supplement, but to sell you the Atomy way of life, which includes consideration for your lifestyle habits, your food habits, and using supplement to support you with wisdom and the right habits. And the last one, the peonifluorin, but before I cover peonifluorin, the cytokine. What in the world is cytokine? Molecules, protein molecules that does all the job of signaling. Where does the signal go to? In the gut. Where to? To the brain. 80% of information from the gut goes to the brain first. And then the brain will send signal and information to your adrenal gland to release the hormones, to get your muscle to work, to get your bowel to move, to get your defense up and ready, to get your liver to quickly filter out whether it's, it's medication or it's food, it's supplement, and so on and so forth. All these are activated from the gut. Peonifluorin, regulate the autoimmune response, meaning in the gut condition, you may end up in an autoimmune, fighting and fighting and fighting, and that is what happened. When it is all the time defense, you live from buffet breakfast to buffet lunch to buffet dinner, you will have autoimmune in just a couple of years, frankly. If you have gone to fast food and you believe in fast food, subscribe to fast food and swear by fast food, okay, I can tell you, you will eventually have autoimmune. Even obesity, overweight now is being classified as autoimmune because the body now do not know how to handle metabolism between sugar, protein and fats. And this whole thing combined is called the metabolic syndrome. So when the body cannot handle metabolic syndrome, or that is a problem then, you will find whether it is sugar, fats or protein, you will have some form of trouble. Maybe you have uric acid and you have gout, a protein problem. And you blame it on the protein, but you forgot about the fats and the sugar. Or you are diabetic and you blame it on all the sugary food. I cannot take sweet food and blah, blah, blah. If you cannot take sweet food in a human body, there shouldn't have been fruits in the world today. But precisely the sugars are in the fruit because of the fiber, the vitamins and minerals that must come together with your sugar. That when you take fruit, that is your answer, actually. And not about anything sweet. Right? So some of us will stay away from anything sweet because you are diabetic. No, it's because you are not handling the protein very well or the fat. And if you're not handling protein very well, what's going to happen is that it has to do with your gut, an autoimmune condition because protein are the hardest to break down, the hardest to digest. And they are easily partially digested and enters your bloodstream and you are on the defense all the time. And when that happens over time, you have an autoimmune problem. So this autoimmune situation can be resolved, supported by peonifluorin that comes from Himohim to 
regulate how it is being done. How? First, by repairing the terrain of your gut so that the bacteria can live in and do the job that it's supposed to do before the food enters the bloodstream. You get the idea? So the process must be very clear. There you are in the scientific studies, you will notice. All right? Number 27, intestinal injury. Right? Meaning the villi, as what I've explained to you. So there is a protective element for hemohim on injury due to radiation. Yes, through radiation, they identify the injury. But the injury may not necessarily just be just because of radiation. Radiation impacted it. But meanwhile, the other aspects of your life, your emotions, your eating habits, your lack of exercise, your watching your blue light all the time, and so on. All these does impact your bacteria and the terrain for your bacteria. So I want to go on quickly now. Hemohim is suitable if you are looking for more strength. Why? Because when the body is able to defend itself of the toxins, the pathogens, the poorly digested food molecules, you will have more energy. You will spend less energy fighting all these intruders and more energy to release okay, the caloric energy for your daily activity, for your concentration and so on. See the difference? So if you are eating day in and day out, you are eating all the time, you definitely have le less energy. You will have less energy because a lot of energy is spent digesting food. I have found people who just go into a state of fasting, no food for a while, and energy actually increased. It does. All right? So you need to also consider that and not just use Himohim to fix your problem. Okay, let's move on. Reducing fatigue, same analogy, same idea. Working over time, definitely your concentration is an issue. Your gut will complain. All right? Because when you're working over time, there is an increase in cortisol in your blood from the adrenal gland. So the cortisol will cause your gut to behave differently. Increasing stamina is the other point. And energy recovery is the final point as a matter of upfront suggestion for you to consider him or him to help you. Let me just highlight the precaution. Precaution does not mean the company is unsure, so play safe, tell you, watch out on this, watch out on that. All right? Precaution is basically to help the members be able to share information carefully without overselling on any one product. All right? So, normally recommended two sachets a day. That is normal. One in the morning, get your guts ready, prepared. It should be, there should not be any kind of a side effects or things like that because first thing in the morning, you should be taking your hemohim. All right? Followed by... All right, before food, highly recommended. Oh, will it cause my stomach to this and that, the acidic nature and blah, blah, blah. No, all these are nocebo mindset. Nocebo mindset means you suspect it will happen and it does happen. Okay? So, from this point, they ask you to seek professional advice. It does not mean the company doesn't understand. And what can the professional tell you if they have no idea of him or him? The idea is just to tell you to be cautious, to look for the holistic combination of factors. In other words, live a proper lifestyle, food, drinks, rest, water, exercise, sunlight, so on and so forth, must be organized in a way that when you bring him or him into the picture, it will give you the least uncomfortable symptoms. Right? And by the way, Himohim is approved as a functional food. Not just, the product, not just the ingredient itself, but the entire food by itself. All right, the ingredient itself. So some people will say, my product has very well been researched. But actually, it is the ingredient. Like for example, vitamin C is the ingredient. But the actual final product may not have been submitted for research. 
But in Hemohim, the actual product itself is submitted for research. The children are complaining against me. Okay, but it's okay. Right? So now we must give them some colour food. Colour vitamin C to straighten them out. Okay? Colour vitamin C, the key word is colour. Colour is missing in all our foods today. Look at your food before you eat. Are they bright and shiny or are they very dull and almost, if I may use the word, dead because they are all overly cooked, slimy, dirty, no brightness, no light, no sh not shiny. What am I trying to say? Make sure you have fruits and vegetables, fresh ones, at least once a day. At least once a day. If you just eat a puny little orange and you say, even a big one, if you take a big orange, even if you take a big orange and you think I don't need vitamin C, you are wrong. Because in the top 10 source of food that gives you vitamin C, high vitamin C, there are only three fruits. The rest of the seven items are vegetable foods. Your parsley, your broccoli, your cauliflowers your peppers, your horseradish, the plant-based food that has very high vitamin C. However, we cook them all, usually. So your vitamin C are destroyed by heat, destroyed by cooking, all right? We won't have enough vitamin C. Even if you eat orange, one orange, orange is the lowest of the top 10. A miserable 50 mg. Assuming they are not kept for too long, and you do have those vitamin C, assuming you eat the orange and not drink the orange juice, a world of difference to enjoy the vitamin C. So points like that tells us we need the supplement. So the body cannot make vitamin C. It is very, very important. It breaks down. It breaks down when you heat it. It is mostly non-toxic from plant-based. In research, they tell you, when you have a lifestyle, natural fruits and vegetables, and draw your vitamin C from there, it has very powerful effect as well for the human body. And supplement may not add any value. Listen again, huh? may not add any value. So I'm not here to tell you, must take vitamin C, very super good and blah, blah, blah. No, if you are vegetarian, you eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, especially those high in vitamin C, you may not need vitamin C supplement. But the chances of that happening is less than 1%. A lot of us will need vitamin C. The moment you are upset, the moment you worry about things, the moment you are drink, taking your food uh, in a poor manner, the moment you don't have supplement, and supplement is to ensure and support that you have your maximum amount every day. Maximum as in the highest tolerable level in your body. So, Adamis, vitamin C at 500 mg, if you take two sachets a day, generally is good for most people. But yet, for some people, because of the stress in life, they definitely need three or even four. So, the tolerable level, assuming you absorb them all, is about four sachets. But I can tell you, we don't absorb all four sachets. Even if, even if we administer four sachets, not all absorb. Let's more move on first. If you take medicine, and a lot of us do take medicine, you will need vitamin C. Because whatever you're taking, some of it will be destroyed because of your medicine. What does it do? Heart health. You do the research, you will find that there are many studies that say, uh-uh, no impact, vitamin C on heart health. However, such research, even involving 300,000 patients over a seven-year study and concluded that vitamin C does not, has no impact, vitamin C supplement has no impact on heart health, even when they say that, all right, it is not the case. Can I have my screen, please? It is not the case, all right, because in the research, there are many other factors that are not considered. Thank you very much. Okay, so heart health, definitely because of the cell. I tell you why, as well as the lung pro protection. Why? Because vitamin C is first absorbed in the gut. Same analogy. 
the gut becomes your most important area to ensure all your food is well taken. And this is something that I hope you all will remember. We need to fix your gut. And for that matter, you will never hear me tell you, I'll oh, just take Himohim. Oh, just take this product if you have this problem. I always say, go on a foundation. Himohim, probiotics, vitamin C, omega-3. And if you have any particular situation, the next thing will be your fine zyme, your ginseng, your red ginseng, and your milk thistle. Because all this belongs to the second line of therapeutic impact. Therapeutic because our products are of high quality, plant-based, and it will support you well. Okay? My screen is, yeah, okay. Physical activity, that is the next one. And all of us do not have enough physical activity. You think that by not being involved in too many physical activity, you will save the need for vitamin C. The reverse is true. Your body needs to respond. Your body going through physical exercise, taking and not taking, taking food, fasting and so on, is basically causing what is known as the response ability of the body. Your body begins to respond correctly. So muscle soreness, fatigue and so on, we covered that just now, vitamin C. Skin care for collagen. Yes, we all need vitamin C. Collagen, because of connective tissue, very, very important. Because of your cartilaginous tissue, so you have aches and pains and you think, oh, I just take omega-3. No, your vitamin C for your cartilaginous tissues. Okay? So who needs vitamin C? Everyone needs vitamin C. Okay? Because we need it every day. Men need it more than women. If you smoke, if you drink, all right, if you are easily stressed out, if you don't eat fruits and vegetables every day, you sleep late, you don't go out to the sun often, you don't exercise much, you don't perspire much, you need vitamin C. And even so, I cannot promise that you will have good health after taking all the supplements. Even if you take all the supplements inside the entire supplement range of Atomy Singapore, you still may not have good health. Because Atomy never say supplement to replace the responsibility of a healthy lifestyle. Got the picture? Alright, so this is what vitamin C is. Let me clarify one more factor for all of us who are familiar. It is based on colour foods. How many colours? How many colours? Seven is uh, uh, wrong. Seven types of colour food. Only, how many colours? Two colours. Some of you say five colours. Two colours, the orange and the, and the uh, red. Two colours. So, again, it is not perfect. They cannot add in black colour, they cannot add in white colour because those are very low in vitamin C. But the idea of colour foods is a, a trending um, research in the area of nutrition. In the last 20 years, increasingly known that the colour pigments make a difference to how vitamin minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin E, iron, gets brought into the body and absorbed. But we have some of it, which is good. Okay? The two colours for you, so that you are able to enjoy vitamin C. Vitamin C will increase your immunity as well. The vitamin C goes along with Hemohim because when Hemohim improves the vitality of your defence cells, in this case, it is called the leukocytes, your vitamin C is largely, I won't say stored, but largely found in high concentration on your defence cells, leukocytes. So it has a direct role in your immunity. So you therefore, you will not take Hemohim, increase immunity, and therefore don't need anything else. It doesn't work like that. Or take vitamin C, I don't need Hemohim. It does not work like that as well. Because our body needs all the entire range of uh, nutrients that the body can use at different times for different purposes. How many of you think you've learned something today? So we will see the sales of vitamin C and hemohim goes up. And the company will run out of stock again. 
No, I don't think so. But I want you to practice what you learn, knowing don't mean anything until you begin to do. I ask you to pay attention and have guts for supplement. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.